So hello hi everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to discuss about sheet metal development work. So in this sheet metal development work, first we'll discuss about how to develop an cylinder. So first here we are going to develop a cylinder having diameter 40 mm having diameter 40 mm and the height of the cylinder is 50 mm so these are the dimensions so we are going to develop by taking these two dimensions first we need to draw the top and front view of the cylinder for a given dimension so this is the top view and front view of a given dimensional cylinder so here this is the top view so write a 40 mm diameter of circle so that is so take a measure at 20 mm by using compass and keep a center point then draw the circle and draw, draw the projection lines from the tangent of the circle and then take a height of 50 then complete the front view of a cylinder so this is the top view and this is the front view for a given dimension cylinder now we need to do the development of engine cylinder so before doing the development we need to calculate what is the linear length of the sheet required in order to in order to manufacture in order to do the sheet metal working operation to get 40 mm diameter of cylinder so this circular length this circular length or this arc length should be converted into a linear distance so in order to convert this linear distance we have a formula we have a formula that that is circumference is equal to 2 pi r r it is pi d so to get linear length so this is the formula we are going to use so therefore so we are getting length as pi d so pi is nothing but 3.142 and d is the diameter which is given as 40 so just do the calculation by using calculator pi into 40 so it will give me 125.66 mm so we can understood that to get 40 mm diameter of cylinder, the length of the sheet required to develop the cylinder is 125.66 mm. Then we need to draw the development for this length. Then we need to do the sheet metal operation. So now I'm going to draw the development, how it looks. Let's see. So now here I have drawn, so this length, so this length is nothing but the linear distance we have calculated. That is, it is 125.66 mm. This length is 125.66 mm. And this will be the height of the cylinder. How much height we require? We require height of 50. We require height of 50. So this 50 is drawn from this point. First, take a reference point, then draw 125.6 mm, then draw 50 at both sides, then join these 50 height lines. So then we are getting a, a fixed frame in order to develop the cylinder. So once we are doing development of the cylinder, it is important to give the few more distance or few more dimensional distance in order to do the operation called as seaming operation. The seaming is nothing but it's a joint obtained. So it's a joint we are creating in order to join the two adjoining parts. Okay, that means after developing cylinder, so we are doing some circular operation. So to join that end to end to get that one. So we are requiring the seam joint. We are requiring the seam joint. So to do seaming operation, we need to give an extra space to lock the joints. So, so one side I'm leaving 5 mm, one side I'm leaving 5 mm. So this is 5 mm I'm leaving. And one more side, I'll be taking 10 mm. So this is 5, this is 5, total 10. And join this also. And hatch this part to clear about, so which is the seaming part and which will be the solid part of cylinder. And this height will be 50. So this height is 50 and this will be 10. So this is 5, this is 5 and this is 5. So this is the development of a cylinder. So after finishing this one, so we are doing the sheet metal operation by taking hammer and stack and also this uh, this sheet should be cutted and it will be pasted over the gi sheet galvanized iron sheet then we are carrying out the sheet metal operations so this is how we are going to develop the cylinder development of cylinder so thanks for watching so if you're liking this video please like it and subscribe it and have a comment on this one thank you so hello hi everyone so today we're going to discuss about uh, development of inclined tray so which comes under the sheet metal work operation so to develop inclined tray we have a dimensions so like this 40 60 70 90 and 20 so the base the base dimension will coming as 40 60 and the top side uh, dimension will be coming as 70 90 and the height of that wall of the inclined tray will be 20 so by using these dimensions we are going to develop the inclined tray so before starting this development of inclined tray first we need to draw how this inclined tray will be looks uh, in terms of front view and in terms of top view so now we are going to draw the top view and front view of the inclined tray 
Uh, see, see this is the front view I have drawn so first I'm taking I'm viewing this tray towards this direction so when I view towards this direction the front view will be looks like 60 and this height will be 90 and this uh, uh, sorry this width will be 90 and this height will be 20 so I'm drawing here so by taking first one center point draw 30 30 or draw 60 line 60 mm line over here and from uh, taking center point for the 60 that is 30 draw a height of 20 so take a mark of 20 height so and mark that center point and from this uh, measure for 90 so this is 90 so from here 45 and from here 45 okay after joining this line next join these two points so by using an inclined line so this will be the front view of the inclined line after finishing this one so draw the projection front point from the each corner of the front view so draw the projection point sorry projection lines and after drawing these projection lines now we need to draw the top view of the inclined tree so this to, to draw top view so anyhow this is 60 so just draw a line for this one okay and this height is required for us so see for the base plate so this 60 is for the base of the tree this 60 is for the base of the tree for this base 60 we are having the height or of uh, one more side length will be 40 one more side length will be 40 so henceforth so here so measure the 40 measure 40 and this side also measure 40 now join these two points So now this base part will go into over. So this is 60 and this is 40. So like that. So again you need to draw the top face. Okay. This top face is 90. So already we are having the projection. So the length is 90 over here. And one more side length will be 70. One more side length will be a 70. Now what we have to do means. So here in this 40. So already we have taken 40 now. So to complete 30. To complete this 30. How much we need to add? We need to add 30 to this 40. So therefore, so from here, so 30, half of the 30 means 15. So one side you take a 15, one side you take a 15, and one more side you take a 15. Sorry, 15. So 15 plus 40 plus 15. That completes the 79. So same way here also. And now just take a scale and complete this frame. Okay, and draw the diagonal line for this one. This is exactly how it looks like in a top view. So now the actual development work is going to start. So to draw this development, so take a compass, take a compass, okay. So keep the compass at this point, keep the compass at this point and measure this distance from one point to one point. The inclined height measurement you have to measure and after measuring, draw an arc after measuring draw an arc see how i'm drawing so draw an arc like this at this point also have to draw the same arc So we draw an arc from here. So now after drawing, just draw the projection of this arc line. So we have a projection of this arc line. Okay. So now, so after drawing this projection of arc line, next we need to identify the point to which we need to join. The point to which we need to join. Okay. Just after drawing this one, just you take a scale and you just project the lines like this. And here this side also you draw the same way just you do draw the or you project the lines okay after drawing this projection next join this point join this point join see here join this point and this point okay so this point to this point and this point to this point again same way here also this point to this point and here also this point to this point and this point to this point now complete this frame now we can able to see this inclined part so this inclined part can able to see so this is what is actual part to do the to do the development of inclined frame so same way here also again to draw the inclined part for the this side, this side uh, element so we just take a compose again measure this distance and draw an arc so 
to here also same thing draw an arc so we have completed this arc okay so now from this point to this point we join so uh, like this at four side also have to join like this now complete this frame by drawing a straight line horizontal straight line so now you can able to see this part and just make a thicker of this part because so this is the arc we have and you can hatch this part you can hatch this part where we can do the cutout so whatever the part hatched so that is the not required part it's a non required part so only have to do the cutout so after doing cutout we are getting the inclined uh, walls at each side four side then we have to join then we have to do the sorting one we have to do the sorting operation so this, this is how we are going to develop the inclined tray okay thanks for watching this video so if you are liking this video so like press the like and do the comment and share it to the maximum people thank you